Hi, I'm Kat from Crazy Cabbage and today I'll be showing you how to make adult size hats with hearts in them. If you want to buy either of these hats, I'll put a link in the video info below. If you make these hats and want to sell them, please just give me a mention because I'm giving you this pattern for free. If you prefer a written pattern, I'll put the link to the pattern on my blog in the video info below. I'll be using an F size 5 hook 3.75 millimeters. So there's 12 hearts in each of these hats. Um, this is six different colors, so it's like two blues, two purples, two greens, and I just alternated them around. The other hat I made earlier, um, this has whites with a pastel color alternating so there's six white hearts and six pastel colors all different colors there's blue there's yellow there's green i got brown because i didn't have peach yarn it's like a lilac color and a pink so choose what colors you would like to use and let's get started so to make the first heart start with a slip knot and then we're going to chain 19 but we've got to make sure we chain loose so we can go into them later so when you have 19 chains chain two more and then go in the back of the second chain from the hook and we're just going to do a slip stitch in there Is a little difficult to get in there. Okay, so it should look like that. And then just chain four more. Again, do it loose. Okay, and that's the foundation chain finished. So then we're gonna join it into a ring. So try not to twist it. And then put a slip stitch in the back of the first chain. Like that. Then we chain one and we put a single crochet in that same chain space. Okay, and then we're gonna put a single crochet in each of the next six chains. Again, just working in the back loop of the chain. So that's one, two, is a little difficult to get in the back of these okay so you should have the chain one and the single crochet in the first chain and then you've got six single crochets and then in this next chain space again in the back of the chain we're going to put three single crochets this makes the bottom point of the heart And then we're going to put six single crochets, one in each of the back of the chain along this side of the heart. So it's one in here. It's two. Three. There's four. And 
and five and six. So you should see your heart starting to take shape. Here's where we started. This is going to be the middle point here. Here's the bottom. So now we're just going to work around this top part of the heart. So to do that, so I've got the six here already. So it's going to be two in this next one. It's two single crochets in the next chain. Um, and then it's one in the next one. two in the next it's a little difficult to find the right space to put this in you've got to make sure you've done the chain foundation chain very loose as well otherwise it's almost impossible to get in And then it's one in each of these next two. And that should take you to the middle point. So again, you did the six single crochets here, two in the next one, one in the next one, two in the next one, and one in each of the next two. So I'm gonna skip over this point here. And it's one in the next one. One in the next one. It's two in the next one. And then it's one in this last one. And then just slip stitch in the top of the um, first single crochet. Make sure it's not twisted. Right in there. And then just fasten off. And that's your first heart. Okay, so now we make the second heart. So take your second colour. Again, start with a slip knot. And chain in loosely, chain 19. So when you have 19 chains, chain two more. And then put a slip stitch in the back of the second chain from the hook. So it's the back of this one here. And then chain four more. This is just the same as the first heart, except we're going to join it. So take your first heart, make sure it's face up, and you're going to get this tail and just drop it through the middle of the heart. Like that. And then put a slip stitch in the first chain of this heart in the back again and then we chain one and single crochet in that same bit chain space again we're just going to be working in the back loops of the foundation chain and we're going to put six single crochets, that's one in each of the six chains. So when you've done these six single crochets here, 
we're going to make the bottom point of the heart and that's three single crochets in this next chain space should look like that so if I just turn it around here's where we started this is that side of the heart and this is the bottom point here and then we're going to put a single crochet in each of the next six chains so when you have those six it should start to look like this the first heart can just kind of fall anywhere on the chain it doesn't matter or you can put it back in position later on so anyway, you've got these six single crochets, so then it's going to be two in the next chain. Oops, I'm going to try that again. Okay, so that's one, two. It's one in the next one. two in the next one and one in each of the next two so there's one and in here that's two so that takes you up to the center point of the heart here so we're just going to going to skip past that so we're going this one over here and that's one and the next one is another one and in the next one we put two And the last one, it's one, just untwist it and then find the first single crochet and then we just slip stitch in there to join and tie off. And that's the second heart completed. So here's the first one. And here's the second one so if you rewind the video back to where I start this blue one you're just going to do it exactly the same way so you're going to get your next one once you've made that foundation train drop it through here again making sure this is face up drop it through join it make the rest of the heart so I'll keep rewinding and keep repeating um, so you have 11 hearts joined and then I'll show you the 12th heart which you must drop through both of these to make it into a ring. So when you have 11 hearts just lay them all out, make sure they're all face up, check that they're all joined the right way, make the chain for the 12th heart. Bring these around, just keep them all flat, all face up into a ring. Drop the tail through the last heart like you normally would. And then drop it down through this one. And then just push it towards the center of the ring and then slip stitch to join and make that heart. Okay, then your ring should look like this. So next we're going to do the top border on the hearts and we're just going to do the one line. We're going to do it in the main colour of the hat. Okay, so pick any heart you want, doesn't matter. But get hold of one. You see these two middle stitches? Let's go one, two, and then we're going to join 
with a slip stitch into that one. And just make a slip knot. It's easier to join like this, I find. Okay, so we found it again. So there's two in the middle. I'm going to count one, and then the second one here. And we're going to be working in the back loops only, so we get the nice heart outline. So just into the back loop of that stitch there. Just insert the hook there. Just join, then chain one, and then into the next one again, back loop only, single crochet. So we're going across the center of the heart now, um, it's half double crochet. Half double crochet in the next one. Single in the next one. Single in the next one. Okay, now we're ready to join onto the next heart. So I'll take the next heart, find the two in the middle, count one, two, and then it's this third one here. So it's going to be a half double crochet through both of these hearts, so yarn over, insert the hook through the back loop on the next heart, and then put the hook through the back loop on this purple heart here. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Oh, oops. So it should look like that. And then it's single crochet, single crochet, half double, half double. Single, single, and now we're ready to join the next one on. So again, find the two in the middle, count one, two, and you want this third one. So yarn over, hook through the back loop there, through the back loop of the next stitch on the one you were coming off. And then just make that half double crochet there. Should start to look like this. Single, single, half double, half double, single, single. Find the next one again, this one, oops, got a yarn over first, <laughs> in there, in there, and just keep going all the way around the ring, so it's a half double to join, single, single, half double, half double, single, single, half double to join. And keep going all the way around the ring just rewind and watch it again as you need to okay so when you finish going all the way around you've done the last half double crochet to join these last two hearts together we've just got to join with a slip stitch in the top of this first single crochet here and then we just fasten off Should look like that, like a crown. Pretty nice, right? So now it's time to start working on the main part of the hat. We'll be starting from the top. So I'm going to start by making a magic ring.
and then chain two. So this counts as one, and then do 11 double crochets into this ring. Okay, just hit pause and do that. So then you just put a slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet, just make it into a ring. And then chain two. So put a double crochet in that same space. And then two double crochet in each stitch around. So you've got 24 double crochet. Okay, so when you've got 24, just slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet to join the ring. And chain two. So I'll put a double crochet in the same space. One in the next one. Two in the next one. Keep going, alternating two, one, two, one, all the way around, and then you should have 36 double crochets. Just press pause and do that. So when you've got 36, just slip stitch at the top of that first double crochet to join your ring and chain two. So now we have to increase up to 48. So I'll put a double crochet in that same space and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Two in the next one, one in each of the next two, all the way around and you should have 48 stitches. So press pause and do that. Okay and then just slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet again to join. And chain two, double crochet in that same space, then one double crochet in each of the next three, two in the next one, one each in the next three, all the way around until you've got 60 double crochets. So press pause and do that. So then slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet to complete that round. Chain two double crochet in the same space and then do one in each of the next four, two in the next one, one in each of the next four all the way around the ring so then you should get to 72 double crochets so I'll press pause and do that okay then it slips that should join in the top of the first double crochet chain two Double crochet in the same space. And then it's one double crochet in each of the next five, two in the next one, one each in the next five, all the way around. And then you should have 84 double crochets. So I'll go press pause and do that. Okay, then we slip stitch to join again. Now we're finished increasing, but you want to do four rounds of one double crochet in each stitch around. So I'll just start off with chain two, double crochet in the next one. So I just keep going and make four rounds like this. Press pause and then I'll show you the next bit. So when you finish those four rounds, now it's time to join the two pieces together. So take your ring of hearts, Make sure it's inside out, this is the wrong side. Sit the hat inside. And then we're going to slip stitch these two pieces together. So we're going to go under both loops on the top of the hearts. And then just do the back loops of the hat piece. I'll just do a few stitches to show you. So, when you've 
when you turn it over you should get this outline here okay so go all the way around hit pause and I'll see you in a minute so when you finish slip stitching around the hat check it looks like this and then just fasten off and cut your yarn so now we're going to do the bottom border on these hearts so take your main colour yarn I just like to make a slip knot because it's easier to join that way so find any heart um, you see the three single crochets on the bottom of the heart we're going to join with a slip stitch in the back of the middle one so this back loop here that single crochet and the next one again back loops only half double crochet in the next one double crochet two together in these next two so yarn over and set your hook through the first one pull through yarn over hook through the back loop of the next one and now we're going to join these two hearts together so find the three single crochets at the bottom point of the next heart find the middle one and then count back five so it's one two three four five we're going to be joining through this one so this is a treble crochet so we yarn over twice and sit the, insert the hook through the back loop of that fifth stitch and then put it through the next stitch on this one too and then just make that treble crochet stitch double crochet two together in these next two stitches half double crochet in the next one single crochet in the next one slip stitch for the bottom point of the heart single crochet in the next one half double crochet in the next double crochet two together in these next two get the next heart find that middle of those three count back five one two three four five yarn over twice and set the hook through there and through the next stitch on this one make the treble crochet double crochet two together half double single slip stitch single half double double crochet the next two together get the next heart find the middle three that middle one count back five one two three four five yarn over twice insert the hook through that stitch and then through the next one here and make the treble crochet 
double crochet the next two together half double single and slip stitch okay so just rewind the video watch what you need to watch and go all the way around so when you finish this round you should finish with a single crochet here just slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet here to join and then we're going to chain two and we're going to do a double crochet all the way around but in the back loops only to create this bottom outline. So into the back loop there. Just double crochet. Just keep going one double crochet all the way around working in the back loops only. Okay, press pause and do it. So when you finish doing the double crochet around, just um, slip stitch at the top of the first double crochet to join the round. Chain two. And now we're going to do an increase round. So double crochet in that same space. And double crochet one in each of the next seven. Then it's two in the next one, one each in the next seven, all the way around. Okay, so when you finish, just slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet again to join. Chain two, and then it's one more increased round. So double crochet in that same space, and double crochet in each of the next eight. Two in the next one, one each in the next eight, all the way around. Okay? So then slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet, chain one, single crochet in the next one, single crochet in the next one, and then you're just going to single crochet all the way around, one in each stitch, okay? Okay, and then we join the round with a slip stitch in the top of that first single crochet chain one and now we're going to do single crochet backwards all the way around so keep your finger on the loop that's on the hook if you haven't done this before it is a little tricky to get started Now it should start to create this like spiral kind of border. So I just keep going all the way around. Okay, so it should look like this. And then just slip stitch. And fasten off and weave in all your ends. Okay, and there it is all finished. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.